Okay. Shh! Keep it down! I'm hunting! I've always heard about the wide range of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true! Are you an adventurer? No, I'm a chef! A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world. My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? I'm Ryu. Hello, my name's Paimon. Paimon! Whoa, that's enthusiastic. Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature. <laughs> Is it edible? Yeah, dig in. <laughs> No, for the last time, Paimon is not emergency food! Yeah, yeah, Paimon is. You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too, called Goba. Goba is Isn't that emergency the name of a Lila right? snack? <laughs> <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. I'm stomach. Anyway, <laughs> can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life, and I don't want to miss out. Oh, sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack well, I mean, later. If the snack's for incentive, then yeah. Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. Don't worry, we're the bestest hunters ever. Whose side are you on? <laughs> don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Great! Then I'll leave you to it! Let's get meaty! Wowie! This is I'm great! Totally not some of it I'll shallow fry, some of it I'll deep fry with mushrooms. Ooh, and I wonder how well it goes with sign condensate. She's off in her own world. Hi, Mom thinks she's forgotten about Seems us. Seems like it. Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh gosh, this is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure. The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm, I got it. I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some boar fat. Build a stove Very from rocks. Specific. Use dry grass for kindling, <laughs> twigs for fire. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. And there's still plenty left. Seems like she's done this a million times before. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Nah, she just has her hey, kitchen what in do you traveling think? case. This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind! That's not even close to what he meant. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draft. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. What are we going to do? I made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. Well, let's okay. come with you. Thanks, guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. You better. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Yeah, me too. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! He has animal ears. You must be Xiangling. Sorry, Mr. Traff. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person... Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. Violence is not the answer. Please, help me promote my meat. Oh. 
Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Okay. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Um, maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwei Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best-loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Hmm... I don't know. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... <clears throat> what would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... <laughs> I mean, couldn't you add something a Sorry, bit more normal? Sorry, that was my cat. <laughs> There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You could turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. Yeah. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. Food cooked like that is destined to be boring. Period. Period. <laughs> Celebrity chefs are known to be. Well, since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? It's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! A little slow. Oops, wrong button. May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? What is going on with her hands? She's trying to like play the keyboard or something in midair, or she's trying to do some karate moves or massage on an invisible person's back. Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Oh, popular. Wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. Uh, this woman is clearly a very popular chef. Yeah, good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe, Maybe. he feels that Mondstadt Cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Louis um, Harbor. Or maybe because she's but kind I of a disagree. lolly. Or a cute I don't anime think my girl. cooking is at all inferior uh, to anyone else's. Well then, show me what you got. Maybe I could give you some feedback. Cook off, perhaps? Sorry, but customer feedback like, oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. That's if I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional honest. chef. <gasps> Hang on. Are you? Shang Ling? That's She's me. a celebrity. <gasps> it's How really could you, you not recognize well, her? I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, <laughs> some joyun chili, and kingsin flour. Kingsin flour? But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. Sorry it would guys, I don't everything. speak chef. Uh, no, that's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. I tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyun chilies grown at a high altitude where the low humidity and varying temperatures lends them a unique dry heat. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili um, spice, and the umami of the tender freshly nice grilled steak while also adding a floral aftertaste. Uh, that's pure overkill. You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever. Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop arguing. 
I guess this is a sort of culinary clash of the titans. <laughs> well, there's only one we are not on way out their of a level. Dispute. I declare a cook-off! I knew it. Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that Draft was clearly wrong about you. I don't know, man. All right. Seems but like he really I likes win, his You have girls. to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wanmin menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wanmin menu is generously provided it's by Chef Brook of Springvale. Meat expert. Hmm. Hmm. It's a deal. I'm off to get ingredients. I will see you all. Wait. Wait. Now we gotta Let's try follow and catch up. her. Let's go. Something. What do you mean? It's missing a little boom shakalaka. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little boom shakalaka lacking. Uh, shakalaka load of what now? <laughs> Brooke may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. To win this will take a truly mind blowing dish. Something like. Sea serpent salad, stir fried kings in flour, um. or wild <laughs> mushrooms in a rich slime jus. Ah, uh, a slime jus? <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. I'll make some for you next time. a food scientist. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it. Although it looks a teensy bit gross. Never mind that. I just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look. Uh, what's that? It's a man. Whoa. Uh, somebody's injured. Oh. Uh, that that didn't happen. <laughs> so, so cold. He's shivering. We need to warm him up quick. Make did a you fire. not see that? I kind of just got be frozen. Just How about a I look after ago? him while you make him a nice warm bowl of soup? Okay. I didn't sign up for this. We passed but, a hillage uh, camp on the way here. There will almost certainly be a campfire there to cook sure. on. Sure. Great. Be as quick. Mm. Oh, that is better. Thank you. That soup really did the trick. What happened? Did you get frozen? Yes. I was chasing a boar. And after chasing him all this way, he slipped into those underground ruins over there. I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo-regis vine. It froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but... I only made it this far before my strength failed me. How big was it exactly? They do now. I'd heard of them before from others. But this was the first time seeing one with my own eyes. Yikes! We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds dangerous. It sounds delicious! Sounds like they're going in. Does anything not make you think about food? That's it. The missing ingredients! Yo, make the me hungry. icing on the cake! Calm down! Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Sure. Only one way to find out. Let's go! Let go. <sighs> Off she goes again. We need to go. Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She is putting herself in grave danger. Slow down! It's dangerous in here! Oh, Ingredients don't danger. stay fresh for long. Is that... Yeah. that is cool. That's cool. Going before they expire. 
Yeesh. She's quite the fighter. She is. It seems foraging for ingredients takes more than just luck. I didn't mean to do that. So sorry, uh, so sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll just use her. Uh, you didn't see what, what just happened over there. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Nice and spicy. 
going down with a glass of wine. <laughs> Your version just ruins it. Wait, there's something else here too. It's a boar. This must be the boar that Hunter was chasing. But Paimon's never seen one with this pattern before. Where have I seen this before? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. It was in the Historia Naturalis of Liwe. This pattern is unmistakable. It belongs to a breed of boar that went extinct 300 years ago. Wow! How is this one still alive after so long? Accidental cryopreservation? Could be. Perhaps. I read that this boar was hunted to extinction because its meat was so highly prized. Condensate of jumbo cryo slime and extinct boar? Not one, but two priceless treasures! This will be our winning ticket. Right! Now let's get back to Springvale! Yeah. We just carry it on a sled. Uh, are you sure this is Springvale? Uh, yes, for the millionth time, yes. But I don't know any of the people you're looking for. That is not possible. They all live in Springvale. They are my neighbors and friends. This is strange. What is going on? I think I see what's going on here. What is it? He's talking about Springvale a long, long time in the past. How long? Surely not hundreds of years. Uh, does that really make sense? Uh, he and the boy are both oh, frozen. Like the way that you keep food fresh. Um, not gonna Still, question that. It's hard to believe. <laughs> it's not food, okay, guys? But it doesn't seem like there's any other sensible explanation. Okay, so what's your. Olaf. Olaf? Oh, I'm sure I've seen that on my family tree. I can't remember which generation it was from, but it was definitely on there. So, a great. Great, great, great grandfather, but with a whole lot more great. They don't look so distantly related. What an unusual turn of events. <laughs> Reunited at long last. Isn't that just amazing? Uh, Olaf, do you want to come and watch a cooking competition? Yeah, do you? <laughs> ah, yes, that reminds me. Brooke told me about the competition, and I've set everything up at the venue. You should come with me. We're ready to cook. Are you? I was born ready. Oh, and Sigfria will be my assistant for the competition. Then let the cooking commence. I will be your judge today. And don't worry, I may have known Brooke for longer, but I will remain entirely impartial. Totally not Much gonna appreciated. lean towards her side because well, she's a traveler, a cute Hi, anime Mom. girl. Prepare. But um, wait, we have to take part that. in this too. Of course, if Brooke has an assistant, you guys will have to be mine. I'll need you by my side when the going gets Didn't tough. Sign up for <sighs> this again. My mom doesn't remember applying for that job. Ah, <sighs> yes, there's no backing out now. Okay, Paimon will do it for the sake of the food. For the sake of the food only. Just for the food. Not for her winning or anything. Alright. Let's go help you. Our first problem is ingredients. We need something special to dress up the steak. But I don't have anything suitable here. Hmm. I've got it! Radish is what we need. Mashed or grated, it'll add a touch of freshness. And we can carve little flowers out of it as a garnish. Two birds, one stone. Go find me a radish. There should be some in the area. Oh, and make sure you wash it because it's going straight into the dish. Come on, let's wash. Okay. <laughs> wash. <gasps> Slimes! Scared the bejesus out of Paimon. This is way too close to the venue. What if they stir up trouble during the competition? Is this foreshadowing? Uh, I don't think we should risk it. Go get them! Wowie! Big and luscious! It's perfect! Thanks, you guys! Now, how about... Xiaoling, look out! The pan's on fire! Oh no! It's gonna burn! It's gonna get the fire under control! Without using water, though, or this dish is a goner! Cool! JK! <laughs> no. This isn't gonna work. 
You just touch it and then the fire's out. Man, I keep accidentally hitting Cook. Uh. Oh, this is practically charcoal now. Also, I'm thinking our main is a little weak. We need to mix it up a bit. Make me a mushroom chicken skewer. And make sure it's got that ooh la la on the outside. Just make it taste friggin' awesome! Paimon is my translator now. Okay, everyone? Go to her if you need anything translated. She knows everything. Mm hmm I guess emergency food comes in handy sometimes. The meat is on track, but we're aiming for perfection here, and I just think it lacks a certain, a certain what? A certain boom shakalaka! Oh boy, yes, again. definitely needs some boom shakalaka, or perhaps a little shakalaka boom pow. I'm just gonna I just go with mean that. it would be a waste of such amazing ingredients to just serve this as is. Let me see. Hmm, what would be ideal is some kind of regional specialty. Regional specialty? Yes, something that's native to this area but isn't often used in cooking. I don't care if it flies, crawls, or bounces. Even insects I can work with. Uh, it, I'm sure I can make something of it. All right, then. Uh, good thing I, I, I caught some stuff earlier. Yeah, let's we'll, we'll just go to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back here. Thanks, you guys. No. Uh, yeah. L lizard tail. Nah, we'll, we'll do a lizard tail for now. Uh, do you really want to add that? It's a little odd. It'll be fine. This was an excellent find, guys. Now, if you'll excuse me, Chef Xiangling needs to concentrate. But I'll be sure to annoy you again if I need anything else. <laughs> it looks like Xiangling's main dish is almost done. Let's go and see. Man, she likes running away from me. I almost forgot. Side dish. We need a side dish. You'd make me do it even if I didn't offer. Thanks. <laughs> you know me too well. Yeah. Here, take this. I just scrolled it down at the last minute. What's this? And here are all the ingredients you need. Is this the recipe for that snack you gave us earlier? Yes, with some minor improvements so it uses up the leftover ingredients from Liwe. This is so complicated. How are we supposed to cook this with no experience? The technique doesn't matter. What matters is that you do it with passion. Oh, get the and that's what my father taught music. me. And you must be passionate about cooking if you've helped me this much already. Dramatic. I trust you guys. Fair. I know you'll nail this side dish. Leave it to me. Confident. I like Definitely it. not confident, Come on, but this is the final some, push. Somewhere there. Okay, let's Jade Parcel. Okay, let's cook this. Is ours. <sighs> this was a fine feast. I have dined today like I have never dined before. Both chefs' dishes today were nothing short of exceptional. They were true masterpieces. And that is what makes this an extremely difficult decision. I still feel but like there's some bias This is a competition, in this. and there can only be one winner. And that winner is Shang Li. Wow. So surprising. Whoopee! I thought I was sure to win with pork chops so fresh they were practically still grunting. But it turns out that's still no match for the taste of extinct boar. Yeah, extinct boar. You know, we, we could have uh, rescued Excuse me? That. Did you say if this that was man survived, then that boar could have. Yep, and, and then we, every last bit. We could have made My it goodness. not extinct, but... Uh, A single mouthful must just, be worth a yeah. hundred thousand mora. Mm. The 
amount you'd make if you sold this could support every hunter in town for years to come. <laughs> the main thing is that you enjoyed eating it. I don't care about the mora. Anyway, um, well, now our judge has given his verdict, it's time for everyone else to eat too. I made plenty! Meanwhile, I want to try Brooke's dish. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. Oh, yes, that is I'll absolutely it, delicious. I was by the best. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Losing is no fun, but it was worth it for the chance to eat such superb cooking. Please, Shanling, I want some more. This is gorgeous, too! Such a perfectly layered texture! Oh, magical. Were it not for that exquisite boar and excellent side dish, it's hard to say if I still would have won. Paimon's turn to eat! Hmm. I will have a taste, too. Oh. My, oh my. This is... This is the taste of Springvale. Or rather... It used to be. It tastes so good, I want to weep tears of joy. Ah, uh, don't you... <sighs> This Feel is the, the last time the I will be able to test down. the food of my era. Hey now, cheer up! If you like the taste, I can always make you some more. <laughs> really? But the boar... It's extinct. The boar may be, but the taste isn't. I can simply recreate it using different ingredients. Putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's totally sobbing. A good time Not side eye. But everyone's gone now. Let's go and say goodbye to Zhang Ling. Thanks, you guys. Without your help, I don't know how it would have gone today. And without you, Paimon wouldn't have gotten to try so many new tasty snacks. Uh, also, wouldn't have gotten so full. Where will you go Not now? Not sure. I'll probably start heading back to Liyue, but I might change my plan on the way. I don't like to plan things too thoroughly. Who knows? Maybe you'll bump into me out in the wild again. Must be nice to be so carefree. You are a gifted chef. You made an amazing batch of jade parcels. Come and visit me at the Wanmin restaurant sometime. I did promise I'd cook for you. And if you want, I'll teach you how to cook some of my latest inventions, too. Uh, it's a deal. Yeah, it's a deal. <laughs> See you again soon. Bye-bye. We finished that. <laughs> The true reason why we got Paimon more food was because you just gotta make your emergency food more plump for resources. Anyways, thanks for watching this. This was totally unplanned, but uh, have a nice day. See ya!